Good morning to all. My name is Arjun Suraj. So today we are going to talk about nebulas. This talk is very special to me because I am dedicating it to my dear grandfather Sri T. Vijay. Now let's see what are nebulae. Nebulas are collection of dust and gas clouds. They contain hydrogen and helium gases. These gas and dust clouds combine due to their own gravity to form new stars. For example, Orion Nebula and Cat's Eye Nebula. So now, let's see how do they form. Nebulas form in two ways. The first way is when a low mass star like our sun ends up in its last stage and shreds out its outer layers the dust and gas left in the outer layers of the star turns into a planetary nebula. Examples of these kind of nebula are the Orion Nebula and the Helix Nebula. So the core of that star turns into a white dwarf which would be located in the center of the planetary nebula. So the second way in which a nebula forms is during a supernova. So how this happens is, like when a high mass star, like Betelgeuse, is in its last stage and explodes during a supernova, the left out gas and dust after the supernova turns into a planetary nebula. These kind of planetary nebulas are also known as supernova remnants, which is a leftover dust after a supernova. Examples of these kind of nebulas are Messier 1 Crab Nebula. Now, let's see what are the types of nebulas. The first type of nebula is an emission nebula. Emission nebulas are the kind of nebulas that shine due to their own light. So, if you ask where this light comes from, they come from the stars which are forming right now inside their own nebula. So for examples for these kind of nebulas are the Orion Nebula in the Orion constellation and the Triffid Nebula in the Sagittarius constellation. Reflection nebulas are the reflection nebulas do not have their own light. They reflect the light from their nearby stars. For example the nebulosity around the Pleiades star cluster is actually a reflection nebula. It reflects the light from the brightest stars of their own cluster. This reflection nebula is known as the Miro nebula. Some examples of reflection nebulas are the Miro nebula and the Witcher nebula. This is another example of a reflection nebula. This is the Witcher Nebula, which is located in the constellation of Orion. This reflection nebula reflects the light of the star Rigel in the Orion constellation. Now, let's see what are absorption nebulas. Absorption nebulas do not emit their own light or reflect other stars' light. Instead, they absorb light. These kind of absorption nebulas are made up of thick layers of gas and dust. So they are not visible through the naked eye or through very large telescopes. The picture shown right here in the slide is an example of an absorption nebula known as LDN 483. Here the dark patches of sky shown in this picture are absorption nebulas. This group of absorption nebulas are called as LDN 483. If you like my video, please like, share and comment. Please subscribe my channel for the latest updates. Thank you.